non fungible token and this is the most in thing most uh you know i think this is one of the most common thing you must be hearing and you must be more interested in listening to what is nfts and how and what are you know how uh, uh should i be should i be really uh, interested in it what is the future of nfts and what is nfts so to understand this thing first you need to understand fungibility fungible and non fungible token so what is fungible fungible is fungible is suppose if i have 100 rupees right and i give it to you right and one week later i say give me back my 100 rupees you give me back some other 100 rupees but you give me 100 rupees note not the one that i gave you i am okay with that because fungible tokens or fungible assets are something that are interchangeable right so that is the reason bitcoin is fungible one bitcoin is one bitcoin one ethereum is one ethereum one uh, 10 rupee 10 dollar note is uh, uh, is a 10 dollar note it's interchangeable carbon credits interchangeable so these are intangible tangible you have gold gold is perfectly fungible if i have a uh, 10 gram uh, uh, piece of gold and i am assuming that it is hallmark because in us and europe you don't have the uh, ramesh uh, ramesh ji ka beta is not selling that gold jewelry right so here still you can say that the jewelry of hallmark is the, is different and the gold of ramesh jeweler is different yeah you can say that it's not it's not fungible but generally speaking uh, the hallmark gold coin or a gold bar is completely fungible isn't it uh, non fungible is that uh, in the simplest of form is that something uh, uh, which is not interchangeable right uh, so you cannot you cannot uh, change one house to another house right you you can even in a building if you have different floors one uh, the floor, the flat situated at fifth floor is not interchangeable by the flat situated at a second floor right so they they have different characteristic different properties attached to it car despite having a you know manufactured by the same manufacturers are not you know interchangeable a painting by the way you know uh, is not interchangeable it's unique you know it's unique uh, it it has its own properties so once we have an understanding of fungibility and non fungibility it will make our life easier to understand nfts a little more in depth now what happens earlier what used to happen you know when if i was a creator so so suppose you went to masuri or you went to uti or goa and you took a beautiful picture beautiful picture of a sunset in goa you came back you took your photograph and you posted on facebook everybody was liking it and suddenly there was this guy your friend maybe or your cousin they did a right click and they downloaded it and after downloading it they put it on their facebook profile and they said i clicked it you were zapped you said no no i clicked it you are copying it you are cheating me you know it's not fair the person said no no prove me that you clicked it i am saying that i clicked it what was the proof so this was the biggest proof uh, biggest problem in a digital world of copying stuff of copying pictures copying music copying movies right so how nft how uh, blockchain uh, solved it say so suppose if you have this pictures let's say suppose you created this uh, drawing right so you have attached you have so while creating this you know you must have uh, created it on a particular date you must have uh, done some some coloring you know so you have some details attached to a picture like you if you clicked a picture in goa so you said you went to varsova goch or, or varsa uh, varsa beach and at 5:15 in front of lee meridian hotel you clicked this photograph right on so and so date and so and so time so five six properties are there attached to it now imagine even this picture is has a uh, some properties attached to it now what is nft all these properties you know that of that particular image get stored on the distributed ledger or the virtual ledger that i'm talking about so all the properties of your picture when all the information of that picture you when you store it 
on the blockchain and that blockchain in return gives you a id right or so that id is the token so your your information gets stored on the blockchain the every all the information related to that picture gets stored on the blockchain and that access to that information is only with you and the blockchain in return gives you a id card right id card you can see the id card of this picture that id card is the token and you hold that token right so the information of the picture or the movie or the music you know that gets stored on the blockchain now why blockchain we have explained to you earlier that blockchains are immutable nobody can change the ledger once you can't change the ledger the you there are immense possibilities now because now you can't change the ledger once things they get on to the ledger so once things get stored on the ledger when nobody can change it now i can save my picture now how to save this picture you can ask me this question now i'll take you a little back sorry i'm taking you a little back here we saw that not just word but even if i put my picture here if i upload a picture or a music file or a movie that's convert gets converted into a hash now this information gets stored on the blockchain now this is the unique id now my now if somebody has to verify that 5 years down the line that if this uh, if if uh, kashif is the owner of this picture or not the picture has to just go through this software it will generate the hash now the person will just match this hash with the one that is stored on the blockchain and the result will be yes kashif was correct he is the owner of this picture so all these pictures and music file they go through this hash this hash gets stored on the blockchain and the blockchain has all the information related to this picture and once you can store your digital assets on blockchain that nobody can change it nobody can access it only you can access it just imagine the possibilities and that is the reason that there is a huge growth in nfts in 2021 alone there were 11.6 billion was the volume and this has by the way in 2022 has crossed to 41 billion and it is expected that by 2025 this this the the trading volume of nfts will cross 80 billion and why this is happening because now literally everything you can store on blockchain from artwork to collectibles to sports from beeples to bayc board app yacht you know axi infinity virtual lands memes domain names amazon.eth yesterday itself somebody has it amazon.it it, it, it's a domain name it's one of the nft 1 million us dollar has been offered just to buy this music ticketing real world assets fashion digital identities permanent residences uh, citizenships and residences by countries are being issued on countries why because blockchain is immutable you cannot change the data once you know that it it gives you a peace of mind that my data is on blockchain nobody can change it it gives a huge potential the entire market gets exploded and that's the reason these are the various different kind of nfts that are being stored on it 